Hi there, I'm Black Bright broadcasting out of the UK and this is the lighter side of Black Bright. I'm going to talk about Love Island. For those of you, if it's the first time you're passing, welcome to my channel. For my existing subscribers, well my Love Island um, fans, um, thank you for dropping by and supporting me. Um, yeah, so if it's the first time, you probably know one you're watching. You're watching this, so you must know a little bit about Love Island. But just in case you don't know anything about it, it's just basically a reality show where this year is taking place in South Africa. It's where couples go in to my to meet the person of their dreams. They hope that they're going to fall in love, and then all the shenanigans that go with that. So we're now um, more or less halfway through. People have come back from Casa Amor, which is the biggest test of whether or not two couples are going to stay together. And so here we are now. Tonight, what happened? Uh, tonight we started off with Mike and Priscilla walking off. There was this kind of um, discussion. And I just remember seeing those two. He took her hand and they walked off. So they seem to be getting off getting on quite well they're not getting much airtime I got the feeling that when he was with Leanne he had much more airtime I don't understand why he's not getting as much airtime with Priscilla that is very very strange because he's getting on with Priscilla so why aren't we seeing those kind of dynamics it's almost like they're making it boring so that the so, so that the public will say, oh, you know, boring, we don't see enough, they're not doing anything. And so what they're doing now is focusing on the people who are exciting. But I do, they're in, they're still in, they didn't get booted out tonight, so that's good. Um, Shauna, she's saying she feels muggy because she overheard Callum say to um, Molly that, he's going to be the next one to make her his girlfriend. I don't think he can see. Molly ain't all that interested. Mind you, when she kisses him, she seems to be interested. But I don't know. I'm not quite sure with that. I I think he's more into her than she is into him. And it's always better for the woman to be more interested in the guy than for the guy to be more interested in the woman because the woman is the one that kind of sticks with it. You know, like if he was a Shauna, Shauna wouldn't leave him for love or money. He would have been safe. If he was looking for security, he would have been safe with Shauna. Molly, okay, she's pretty and she's she makes you all excited and you feel like tearing her clothes off, but is she going to stick around? For you to do that, that's what happens. Some of you men, you like to punch above your weight, don't you? And that's <laughs> well, I mean, and the thing is, he seemed to. The thing is, when he was with Shauna, he seemed more attractive and he seemed to have a little bit more personality. Shauna kind of bought something out of him. Now, with Molly, he kind of. He's a bit boring. So, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Put your comments in. Tell me if you see what I see. Anyway, we've got Luke M and Demi. Ooh. Wee, 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 wee. That's a bloody good one, isn't it? Who would have thought? And they clicked almost, almost instantly. And she's a bloody architect. She deals with all excavation and all that. She ain't just a pretty face. So good for Luke M. If she likes him and she does, and I don't think she's just doing it to stay in the villa. I mean, obviously, people want to be coupled up. but And we don't know what will happen if somebody else comes into the villa. But for now, they everyone needs a bit of tender, loving care. And while they're in the video, villa and they're watching everybody else cuddle up, kiss and goodness knows what, you must feel a bit left out. I guess Sean is going to feel even worse now that Demi and Luke M are getting it on. But did you see that new guy coming in asking to see Shauna? Ooh, he looks a bit of all right, didn't he? Bloody hell. And he asked for Shauna. You know, sometimes I wonder if those directors set it all up, you know, just to keep things interesting. Wouldn't it be interesting, though, 
if the new guy really likes Shauna and Shauna really likes him and Callum gets jealous, <laughs> wouldn't that be funny? And old Molly's put on the lurch. But I tell you something, Shauna wouldn't go back to Callum. She definitely would. If she goes back to Callum, that would be it. She'd be a mug. So I hope she doesn't. But anyway, that's me hypothesising. I don't know if that's going to happen, but, you know, I was just putting it out there. I'm just being a bit mischievous. Jordan says he's not having fun with Rebecca. Well, it don't matter now. They're gone. I think she was just, I don't think she was interested in him. I think she just wanted a fella and she just chose him. There was no chemistry. You could see it. And I, to be honest, I thought Jess and Chad would be going. Eva and Naz. I can't believe they've gone. But you know the good thing? I think those two clicked and I think they click on the outside. So it wasn't a waste. If Naz had left without anybody, then yeah, maybe I would have been a bit disappointed. But Naz, he's such a lovely bloke. I don't understand how Jess and Chet stayed in. Who's watching this show? What else? And then, I don't even understand Jess because one minute she was making excuses and saying, oh, I don't really want to kiss and cuddle because I don't want to upset Luke M. Do you think Luke M gives a toss about what you're doing? He don't care. What kind of excuse is that? From Luke M, she, she, after Luke M, she went with bloody Mike. So why would he care about her and Ched? She's lost her marbles. And then I thought when she said that, well, she's not really in it because normally when these women kind of distance the guy, they they um, they kind of like make all kind of excuses. But then afterwards she's saying, oh, we really get on. I wonder if she's doing that for the bloody camera. I wonder if she doesn't realise that we're watching all of it. I'm wondering if she did that second part for the camera when she said, oh, we get on and I really like him and he really gets me and I get him. Just like. Anyway, I don't even know what's happening with those two. It just does. I just do not see it working. Not on the inside or the outside. I just don't get it. Unless I'm missing something. What else is there? Um, the trio of trust. Oh, bless them. Finn, Luke T and Luke M. My three favourite people. Trio of trust. Talking, Comparing their sexual activities with bits of fruit. <laughs> Thinking we won't understand what they're talking about. Whether or not it's a bit of bread, which is a bit soft, or a bit of toast, which is much harder. And whether they wanted to sit, eat the toast, or whether the bread was okay. And whether they should have tomatoes. I didn't quite, quite get what the tomato bit was, though. But anyway, I love those three. And so, yeah, they were being discreet. They did kind of tell us too much, but I guess they knew what they were talking about. Um, but anyway, we do know there's what they call it, they're doing bits. We do know that they're doing bits underneath the covers. Um, oh, and Mike giving Luke um, lessons that was good because it seemed to work. It seemed because the next minute he was in the arms of bloody Demi. So that that Mike is kind of a cool character, and I think Luke needed that. I mean, I think. You know, it's, it must be difficult for men to know how to approach a woman. Because in Luke M's place, he's like, oh, hi, Demi. And, but the way that Mike did it, where, you know, it just made, it just made difference. And it was much more, um, well, I think if it was Demi, she would have been much more intrigued. So these men, they study women, don't they? They know exactly what's what. They ain't silly. So they've got them all sussed. That's why I said sometimes it's just a bloody game. 
they know exactly what to do to pull them a little closer and keep them a little distance. Anyway, what else is there? Oh, and the bloody noise when Luke M kissed Demi. I mean, please. I mean, that's the only thing I don't like. It, there's nothing private in that villa. You know, they all just there watching and waiting. You know, you can't have no little private conversation. You can't have a little kiss. You can't have a little cuddle. Everybody's there looking and waiting and cheering. Oh, anyway, that's all I've got to say for but about the book. That's all I've got to say about Love Island tonight. Bye. See you tomorrow.